So we are recording this um, new video of the series um, because one of the subscribers to um, the channel was asking how can I upgrade the um, uh, version of a Cloudflare D container. So the guys from Cloudflare are updating the uh, container image uh, pretty frequently and it is always a good idea to you know be using like the uh, uh, newest version of the of the of the container. So we log in into the uh, Synology NAS here, and we go to uh, show or running containers. Here uh, you can see we have this container called Cloudflare Synology. This is the one that I have been uh, using lately, and as you can see here, there is this uh, message saying that it would be a good idea to upgrade to the newest version of the image. This is uh, depending when you're watching this video, you might be getting a different message, but uh, the bottom line is uh, you wanna you wanna go and, uh, and grab the newest image. So you have two options essentially here. The first one would be to create a new channel and uh, start it from scratch. This is something that I have been doing in the past. But if your configuration is uh, long and you don't want to start from scratch, you can uh, you can follow this process that I'm going to show you and uh, you will be getting uh, essentially uh, a new version of the container running with the newer image. So let's go um, to the images, uh, to the repository, sorry, here. We're going to enter Cloudflare slash Cloudflare D. If we click here, we can go uh, look for the version that was advised in the log. Uh, it is 2023.1.0, this one here. So let's click on it. Let's um, download the, uh, the image. It is going to take, it is not very uh, big, this image. It is going to take. Uh, couple of minutes to download, maybe less. No, it's, it's going to take... Uh, here it is. So we have already the, the new version. So the next step we're going to do is uh, we will be stopping the running container, which is running on this old version. Uh, now we don't have uh, our Synology post. This is the new image that we have downloaded, as you can see here. We double click on it. Um, we're going to create a new container attached to the host network. Let's give it a name, a different one. You have to give it a different name, otherwise it is not going to start. So let's call it uh, Tunnel Synology this time. And uh, we will click here in uh, Enable Auto Restart. On the advanced settings, we don't have to touch anything because the configuration of the channel is going to be hosted on uh, Cloudflare. And uh, we can go here and we have to complete this running command. Um, so for that, we need to go to Cloudflare uh, website. We log in. We need to go into the uh, Zero Trust console where we can find all the running containers, all the running tunnels that we have um, on our different domains. Um, so let's click here under Access and then on Tunnels. And you see here there is this tunnel which now shows us down, which is the one that I created back in August 20, uh, 18th, 2022. It is the one that we are uh, updating now. So we click in Configure and um, the environment is Docker. And we just, we just need to go here and copy this full command because this command contains the token which is going to be used to start this new um, version of the container. So we paste the command here and uh, we essentially remove um, remove everything 
which is not um, related with the um, command that is needed to start the channel. So it's it's essentially we leave uh, here where it says uh, tunnel and, and all the rest of the command. Okay, so you have here the long long token which is going to identify it. So with that we just click save next and. Uh, we don't need to uh, map any file or the or uh, volume. We just click here on done, and uh, we are gonna be creating a brand new container with the new image. So for that, we just click here. You can see uh, on this long list of containers that I have here that this. Um, this one here is the one that I was using before and the one that I have created is this one here, Tunnel uh, Synology. As you can uh, see, it's been up for one minute, we go to the logs and everything is working uh, as expected. Just to uh, complete the check, let's get back to the, uh, to the tunnels and now you see it is running on healthy state. So this is the new version, which is uh, having all the configuration that I had on the on the previous container. Uh, just maybe to uh, to complete the the test. Here you can see this is the uh, latest version, twenty twenty three version. So uh, to complete the test, um, let's just make sure that we can access one of the services that we have uh, hosted on the uh, Synology. So for that, let's go here. I have a running Node-RED uh, instance on my private domain. And as you can see here, I can access it uh, from the outside world without uh, any problem. So I hope you like it and you find it useful. Um, um, I'll see you in the next video.